This is Joan Rose Bloom, your record career postgame show live from Woody Hayes Quaker Stadium in beautiful New Philadelphia, Ohio, and it's a particularly beautiful venue for the Mogador Wildcats who moved to 2-0 with a 28-21 victory over Shadyside. What a game it was. Totally lived up to the billing. It was the Region 21 runner-up Mogador Wildcats versus the Region 23 runner-up Shadyside Tigers. Both teams with massive postseason streaks uh, going back further than a decade. For Mogador, it's about two decades now, uh, and this game lived up to the billing, and for the Mogador Wildcats, they learned a little bit about the heart that they have. What an impressive effort coming back from a 21-7 deficit. And for the Wildcats, this game got real frustrating. They burst out to a 7-0 lead on a beautiful deep ball from Will Pope to Tucker Marmash. Then saw Shadyside score 21 straight points, but it was more than the 21 straight points. It was the fact that the Wildcats, who pride themselves on being a ground and pound team, simply weren't getting it done on the ground. They had 10 rushing yards on 10 carries at the half. But the funny thing about the ground game, the funny thing about the trenches, is sometimes it doesn't pay off in the first quarter or the second quarter you got to stay patient with it and in the second half you saw that Mogador uh, line really start to win on both sides offensive and defensive line they started to win the trenches they started to get great pressure on the defensive side of the ball uh, allowing them to pitch a shutout uh, in the last 20 24 minutes or so of the game um, and then you also saw on the offensive side they started to get some traction on the ground but it started actually with a big play through the air and again it was Tucker Marmash who had that big touchdown catch in the first quarter and in the second quarter or in the third quarter I apologize down 21-7 Will Pope was under heavy pressure. Uh, he's getting hit. He throws it up to the right sideline. It's a little bit underthrown because of the contact. And Tucker Marmash comes back to the ball, makes an astounding catch, and takes off 77 yards to the end zone to make it 21-14. And I'll tell you what, the game was never the same after that. Will Pope had another touchdown pass to Tyler Knight to tie it. Nick Sky, the beautiful cutback for the game-winning uh, touchdown run. But the, the game really did change on that beautiful 77-yard snag by Tucker Marmash. But again, what an effort by the Mogador Wildcats, controlling the line, coming back, changing the narrative, and the Wildcats leave New Philadelphia 2-0. What a beautiful field, what a beautiful venue, and what a great game for Mogador. Reporting live from New Philadelphia, Jonah Rosenblum, Record Courier.